Okay, so today I am at my heater right here because it's in the winter. Um, before I go into the uh, the video, I'm going to talk uh, just a little bit as I always do in my other videos or uh, all of my videos. Um, I actually know I, I solved this problem. Six plus years ago, and I still kept the secret. Okay. Now, there is a 5,000 subscribers coming up next. And I also have a 10,000 subscribers. I'm still in the middle of that. I don't know which video I want to give away. Now, you have to remember, I do things... Um, on my channels to help people but also to my subscriber deserve something more than the world can give them and this going to be one of them this going to be I will be the only one in the world to solve this just remember that okay Before I go into that, I'm going to show you what this video is about. It's called smell. There is an odor that everyone complain about. Okay? And no one in the world has solved this. Uh, at first, okay, when, 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 winter, when winter start, people complain the smell. There's this weird, sweet smell always coming from the heater. So, I'm going to name them all. They blame on the filter. They blame on crack chamber. They blame on leaky gas. You might have leaky gas. Uh, they blame on things that is inside the pipes. Like, instance, let's say there was something dead inside the pipe. Okay? Sorry, I have to move the camera to show you there. So far, we got four. They blame on dust, five. Uh, they said that because, you know, it sits around all year round... Um, it might be dust. That's what is burning off and that's what you're smelling. Then they blame it exhaust pipes. Okay, they said, maybe the air inside, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this, maybe that. So this part like six now. So number one, they said it's the filter. Okay, number two, they say it's a crack chamber. Number three, they said there's a gas leak. Number four, there's something dead in the pipes. Number five, there might be dust in the pipes. Number six, air. You might sucking something from the air. Maybe from your basement, maybe from outside, maybe this, maybe that. And they have blame on everything. Okay, everything and and you will see threads after threads after threads after threads after questions after questions you will see them all. Just search on Google. The term is sweet smell coming from my furnace or smell coming from my furnace. And there are people, okay, I've read threads, there are people spend thousands of dollars. They say you might need a new unit. They spend thousands of dollars. Countless nights of sleep. People cannot sleep because of this. People will, will think there's something wrong with their units. They spend thousands of dollars and try to solve this. And especially gas. Oh, carbon monoxide. They blame it on carbon monoxide. 
Uh, they said that maybe but that's the carbon monoxide. God, you don't even know how many things they blame on. That people will run into circles to solve this problem. Okay? And I will tell you again. I am the first person in the world. And I can guarantee you that with my head on a plate for you to chop off. I solved the problem. And it's none of those. None of those that I have that I have mentioned. Can you believe that? I have when I took my, okay, six years ago when I smelled this smell, okay, because I started to live with my grandmother and I smelled this weird smell, just like they said, six plus seven, seven years ago. And I could not stand it. Oh my God, we took everything apart. We took a whole shebang. We've done everything that was suggested. Okay, just like a lot of people have, just like a lot of people have done. And if uh, my dad is pretty knowledgeable about these, so he tore everything apart and he could not find it. Just like everybody else on the Internet. Like I said, they blame on the filter. They blame on the gas chamber that cracked. They blame on gas leak. They blame on things, maybe an animal stuck inside a pipe. They blame on dust. They blame on uh, maybe exhaust is not going out. Maybe the air coming from somewhere. Uh, they blame everything in the book. But it was never solved, okay? And I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna freeze the video right now, and I'm going to show you threads after threads. Okay, we're going to go to the next video so I can show you threads after threads. Okay, so now we are at Google. And I search for sweet smell from gas furnace. And look what I say. Strange sweet odor from uh is a furnace smell indicated that's cracked heat chamber. As I remember how I said which is dangerous condition, blah, blah, blah. Maybe something blows through the duct, blah, 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 blah. And this can, the furnace can have a serious problem, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then the same thing here. What kind of gas smell is sweet? Why gas smells? Okay. Smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> okay. Rotten vegetable or garlic, blah, 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 blah. Or even described, it's often described as smelling like garbage. Add a sweetness to the overgas smells, okay? Then, they said that there's carbon monoxide smell sweet. It's supposed to be odorless, but they said it might be carbon monoxide, okay? Then you said, is gas, is, is normal to smell gas by furnace, blah, 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 blah. They'll tell you everything. Here, it's normal that the gas room emits small amount of gas on, re on cycling on, occasionally detect a faint odor, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Does gas leak have a sweet smell? The smell added natural to rotten egg smell, blah, 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 blah. And this is another website. That was another website. What caused the sweet smells in the house? And that's another website right here. The sweet uh, basement. Now they're talking about basement. Have a sweet pungent odor. Have mow grove. Have earthy smells. Have the smell sweet. Basements have office moisture. They blame a moisture. They blame an insect in infestations. They, they blah, 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 blah. Okay. You go online and search it for yourself. You will see the same crap that I see. How to tell if my gas has a gas leak, blah, 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 blah. Okay. What causes sweet smells in the house? Okay. YouTube. You do the same thing. Sweet smell come from furnace. If you do that, now look at that. I typed in sweet smell. Coming from gas furnace, and look what it says. Air smells sweet. Carbon monoxide smells sweet. 
Furnace smells like a sewer. Home air conditioner smells sweet. Furnace smells funny. Furnace smells like a cigarette smoke. Furnace smells exhaust smells. Air conditioner, blah, 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 blah. Okay. They blame on everything. <laughs> and do it again. Just search. Strange smells coming from my, from my furnace. You will see so many things. And look. Odor, like from Bob Vila. Even Bob Vila doesn't know, okay? Strange odor come from vents when furnace operates. My furnace is natural gas and it smells like rotten eggs. It is more sweet, yeasty. Some days are strong than others. Blah, 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 blah. That's come from Bob Vila. Let's check it out. This was post in 2004. 2 6 2004. When my furnace goes on, I smell the strange, sweetest odor coming from the vent and irritates my eyes and nose. Aha! Uh -huh. I have service contract company sent out a man walked around the house and also have detecting tools. He said there's no gas leaks in which cause of which I also, which of course I knew since the smell was not rotten egg smells. He could not find anything wrong and left and I still have problems. Any idea only happened when the furnace is running. Aha. Uh -huh. Since 2004. He posted at 6.44 a.m. at 2, 6, 2004, and he still not get his answer. Because I am the one in the world that holds this. Now here's the suggestion. Check all the return, chemical, possibly any plug, air, freshener, blah, 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 blah. Of course there's nothing there. Another one. I will suggest to check with the heating chamber. Uh huh. Very close. There are hair line cracks. There are carbon monoxide fumes. Check the clogged vent pipe. Discontinue vents. Let furnace in. Blah, 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 blah. My furnace is a natural gas. The smell is not rotten egg. It is a sweet, yeasty, and someday blah, 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 blah. And I have had the same had symptoms. I cannot get rid of it. Help. What is it? How do I get rid of it? And it is harmful. This was post another person on 114 2007. So since 2004, 2007, they still have not done it. Another person. Has anyone figured out the problem with the smell? I have the same problem. I would like to get some idea. What could be wrong? Thank you. Another person posted. Now this one says, oh, four-year-old home manufacturer home purchase in Michigan last fall winter rise, left the place, it's 50 degree, there's a smell that come from and goes in from the gas stove to furnace, or simply having house closed in a few days. Not a gas smell, it is a sicky, it is a sicky yeast odor, as someone said. Affecting family member differently, I feel like my nose and throat, my husband, my hubby smell it and it gets headaches. Gun sun gets squeeze uh gets squeezy from it. We have been air out the house thinking that the formaldehyde residue blah blah close all the window how could be how long how long would it take to air out out the house blah 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 and guess what they did We had the furnace clean out check by the gas company found no gas leaks mold testing came up negative Tore out new carpet, CO battery change, no detection, nothing give, nothing give us a clue, etc. Are there any issues? Mainly manufacturers home, no problem. Water, previous damage. We have looked into vents, cleaning the vent. Didn't has find anything since tearing down. Blah 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 blah. Has anyone found any information or solution? Please help. Look at that. 
Can you imagine this is post since 2007? And before that was 2004. Okay? And we are in 2019 and no one has solved this problem. And look, the threads will go on and on and on and they all they do is suggest an old man P condensation, blah 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 blah. Look at that. Look how long this thread and look it's so did you ever figure out what, what the smell was? This was in 14 and they still hasn't no one has done. I totally understand what the first person was saying. This is someone to about the smell being sweet, powdery smell. That is how I would describe it. I do not have gas. I have, have a new trans system, blah, 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 installed over a year. And, I, and this sweet smell only happened periodically when the weather, when the weather is, heat is on and AC is running. They have checked and they ran out nothing. And they have never, they have never complained this before, but certainly sweet, sickening smell. I truly wish someone would figure it out too. And as I'm concerned, it was toxic chemical. I have no air, the air condition. I have no air freshener, etc. In this in the house, it has been happening a lot lately. And it was doing to, and I've googled and I found this thread. So even that person in 2014 and found that thread. I will link this thread. We also have pea smells, but starting up the humidifier switch to heat. Blah 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 blah. And nothing. See. Which dry, but now causing the O to any comments. And in 2014, has anyone found the answer? I have a six month carrier heat dump that is smelling sickening and sweet smell. It sometimes smells like wet paint, mildew. We have technician comes over, completely inspect the system. They said nothing was wrong. There is no mold, mildew, sewer fumes, backing up the system, blah, 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 all that. I have been nauseated and increasing migraines and headaches, and it's affecting, look, it is affecting my health. Oh, God, I wish I can help that person, and I have, I hold the secret. And that's in 2014. I have the same issue with the old furnace and rental unit. I have never lived in here with gas and no clue what it is normal. That is cope with COPD and that the heater kicks in and my nose gets stuffy. I cough a lot. Eventually it goes away. However, I'm scared about gas leak. Nothing smells like rotten egg. It is almost like spraying perfume in the heater space and burning off. Another person. Look at that. This is another person because these, all these numbers are different. I am happy to see this. We have the same problem. We move into this house. Sweet powdery smell when the heat is on. I have shampoo, carpet, steams, wall, painted, blah, 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 all that. And it's still there. Feel like I have moved to escape at any thoughts. No scent of product used in the house. Never, though previous resident did scent at the laundry. You see that? And this thread will go on and on and on and on. Look, now is at 21815. Okay, we were in 2004 and, and 2015, they still have not. Same issue here. We have a five ton unit put on a year ago and have been smelling this smell for four months now. Come and goes. That was 2015. The other one was 2004. And look at this person at 225. Has anyone discovered the answer of the sweet smell coming from vent when the furnace is on? I too changed the filter, had the duct clean. Still the smell is there and it's making me sick. You see it now? I'm going to go on. Like I said, I am very proud to have this. In my in my head, and I have I have kept it for a long time. Look at that one. As for me, my sweet smell coming from the vent was sewer gases. When the furnace kicks in, it sucks in the blah 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 blah. Duck. No, I'm sorry to tell you. Nope, that's not it. You will have to wash your bedding, curtains, etc., to get the smell that is settle everything. The pipe has to be cleaned. Blah 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 blah. Nope, none of that. 
You can have any kind of smell. You can have any kind of things inside your house and it will not affect it. Look at this one. I have this smell too. Okay, another user. Because this is different uh, name. It's driving me crazy. We have tried many suggestion lists and here and no available. Going to have the pipe clean next time though. I am wondering which the pipe we're referring to. I don't want to spend the extra spend extra time and money cleaning out the wrong pipe since we already had exposed some some dead ends. See thanks. I'm having the same issue and look at this one, another one. Okay, we moved just a few months back and here with the first owner, brand new furnace. Remember, brand new furnace, he said, and blah, 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 changed the filter two days we did previously. Cozy, cup, blah, 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 and it seems to buy. It's flown air usually, warm up the house, issues. I can't put my finger on it, but something has to change about the air quality, blah, 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 and particles, blah, 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 and irritation, cause ear eye irritation to some... And sometimes at night, I feel like I can't take take a nice, deep, proper breath and have the urge to open the window. Oh, God, I wish I can help these people. And look. Also, the furnace on small utility closet in the basement. When I go down there, the closet is full of fume, some fume. No particular order, IG. Smells, uh, an example of not the burning smell, nor gas, nor dust, but something almost sweet. And it has, it, it too has the same effect, eye irritation. I noticed that some cold air returned from the closet, but the haze has been there and started suddenly circulating and it was a filter change. What was that? New furnace smell? Nope. Can change a brand new rated suddenly cause this? Any thoughts? I hope the bulb would help other issues, the strange furnace fumes. You see that? That is posted. This guy, very thorough. I give him credit for that. 3 7 15. And we were in 2004. This thread started in 2004. And 2004 and 15. That's 11 years, and they have not figured it out. Now this goes on. I found the blah, 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 drain cap, blah, blah. I'm so glad to find this thread recently. I moved to a new apartment and my bed next to closet. And I smell this. This smell is killing me. It wakes me up at night and almost like rotten strawberry. My super thinks that I am crazy. That's what I thought I was. Okay. But because of all the building too. My superintendents and parts never consistent, so frustrating. I'm on this floor. Blah 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 blah. Would love to help any advice on how to resolve this one. Me too. Only two different odor. One yeasty and the other one like cherry pop. And it took a photo. Blah 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 blah. All this stuff. See that? You see this where this thread is going? My house smells bad from the furnace, including bedding, clothing, and it smells. The air is making me sick. Maybe because some dust is filtered. Maybe because of the chimney, electrical defect, blah, 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 contact. The, uh, yeah, that's all they do. Tell you to contact, blah, blah, blah. The chimney is clogged. Electrical defect. Contact a professional, blah, 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 blah. No professional will solve this problem. I promise you. No professional. I am not a professional. And I solved it. Just to let you know that one. Please. These people. Look at that. 10, 20, 15. And suggest a contact professional on the subject. <laughs> You're going to pay millions of dollars. And you cannot solve it. Like I said. I hold it. I hold this knowledge. And look at this one. It is the dust collected in the dust. You have to clean it. Get professional electrician to know the best knowledge. Um, you ain't going to find it. And look at this one. Hy hydrogen sulfide. Blah, 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 blah. Telling all this stuff. Wax rings from the floor. Toilet flush. 
to this, to that, to this, to that. Fix the older smell from this vibe, blah, 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 blah. Nope, sorry. Oh, they even say dead birds. Vacuum remove hands, nearly five pounds of dirt, dead bird, other debris, this is problem solved, no more smell. Uh-uh, liar. I can tell you it offhand, that's not it. You can stick, you can stick ten dead birds in there, okay, and, and the smell will go away. That's because that's not the problem. I have the same burnt rubber odor in the same unit I ran duck to blah 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 blah. Perhaps we get to 150 degree, the entire system will clean, check, nothing found. The tech say it was okay. And the open air conditioner, blah blah blah, with a cooking anything like dead mouse would dry it up by now. How look at that. That's 330 16 and they still have the same problem. Very helpful common stream. Same story as everyone else and I have excluded. Carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide, gas, refrigerant leaking for the oddly, oddly sweet odor in the air. The hydrogen sulfur point me to the mark to check the public health department note, the blah, 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 blah. Will calling the plumber right away because of causing short breath, sore throat, dizziness, mild headache. Yes, I had all those. Uh-huh. This person described exactly like I had too. But remember, I have went through all those and a lot of people have the same thing. Can you imagine? Now we're at 6-2-2016. We have had powdery odor in our home for months. It irritates my eyes, nose, mouth, throat, lungs. The first started year when this little painting, blah, 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 first was a strong older shop, got everything, furniture, clothes, blah, 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 and never fix any problems. Googles, they Googled it, having uh, lots of people having this problem after painting. Thanks for the info, blah, blah, blah. Eh, nope. Sorry. We have lemonade for causing respiratory issue. Nasal problem, burning eyes in the computer floor, gas from aldehyde, blah, 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 blah. They blame everything. Second point, it was once a heater core and in the crack, blah, 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 spill antifreeze. It smells sweet, almost like cookies, blah, blah, blah. This may not be the fact that HMAC may warrant other investigations. Two possibilities. Oh, that person saying there was two possibilities. Nope. Now this person. 210, 18, I'm smelling the odors, getting strong. It, it get metallic taste on my lip. Yes. The smell is is now on my sheet, clothes. It seems like happening when there's moisture outside. All right, before the rain and snow, we have a lot of snows here, and this is the strongest odor. And the fern is constantly running, and the fan's off. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody here said, you screwed. You are screwed. I also described the sweet smelling yeast smell, nasty and faint. However, no one else had but this lady clean of the home can smell. It is nauseating. I, repl I place mini filter ceiling vents, replace furnace filter, charcoal screen. Oh my god, I have filled the whole way, blah blah blah, blow out, blah blah blah. It is so confusing since I have only lived in this home for about one year. It is so strong, the master bedroom, I am, I have not been able to sleep in there. Now the smell has been spread in other home parts of home. I read that some block that maybe something with nasty uh, stuck in the chimney, so upsetting. I had a person check the furnace, another person went through my attic. And to see the original smell there. Anyway, my home was for sale now. I'm exhausted. Climbing up 15 feet to see my high-rise ceiling to replace filter. I am about done. Oh my god. You see that? At 3, 2, 18. Now they're saying, are you a humidifier? Blah, 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 all this crap. 
Anyone can give you advice. Can anyone give me advice when the furnace is burning? It smells like exhaust leak from the car instead of coming out. Blah, 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 blah. What I should I do? Nobody. Nobody. And they would suggest everything. Look at this one. 318, 19, new furnace for six months, sweet sickening smell in the room near the furnace only. It is only when the lower comes, when the lower comes, I don't know what that's saying. Why? Uh, we'll try to water down the drain thing, hoping. Mm -mm. Here's a solution that worked for me. Elevate the drain pipe from the drains, blah, blah, just a few inches from the drain, the plastic drain, blah, 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 the sewer gas, uh, uh, uh. it's not going to get rid of that smell. So no more sweet, sick smell with blower. No, sorry, it ain't. It is the ozone VOC smells you are smelling. I am battling this myself. It's the byproduct of ozone treatment that I found in the way of your home. No, sorry. Many people suffer from this. Create it was created major health respiratory issues. Blood is sensitive to the smell. You check the gases. Blah blah blah. The machines remove. Tried everything. Try vinegar. <laughs> Trying vinegar to return now. It's nasty. And ozone's machine should be outlawed. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Pretty new. Five, three, nineteen. I have been having the strange odor for two years now. Most prominent when my forced air heater is running. I smell throughout the house. It smells smoky, sulfury, cinnamon-like. Because it smells like sweet. It is very hard to characterize it. It gets very strong. That it, it smells like every breath. I, I, I get burning eyes, headaches, nausea. This is the same stuff that I go through. Jeez. I didn't even know about this thread. I'm going to reply it and I'm going to point them to my to this video here, okay? <laughs> they probably going to pay me a lot of money to do this. <laughs> imagine, imagine. For what is worth, anyone understood we have been having sweet s smell recently and a furnace and run to my office we discovered is the antifreeze bleak. No, no, no. That's separate. When the furnace runs, the antifreeze leaks into the furnace, but it burn off, it emits sweet smell. No, nope, 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 nope. That's not it. It will go away. If antifreeze leaks, it will go away. It says good luck to all. I have the same issue. 6819. Oh, we're getting close here. Anyone have solution? Thing is, I've tried EVR's ERV system, check the supply, exhaust furnace, blowers, isn't near blood blue light, new filter, new furnace, clean duct. I am beyond sick over this and my kids as well. Please, any feedback will be appreciated. Look at that. Same thing, possibly crack, blah, 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 blah. No, there's some, huh. They'll be smoking crack before your, your thing crack. Look at that. I just purchased a house and immediately start having this sweet smell. Look at that. 11, 26, 19. This is so recent. Burn eyes, nose, and no one can find anything wrong. It is making us crazy come from time to time. Previously, his owner, he had no problem, huh? Look at that. So I'm at the end of here and this is the latest 11:26:19 at 12:20 a.m. Can you imagine? Someone they would love to pay me to re resolve this right here. They would love to resolve this. They probably pay me hundreds of dollars to resolve this. Yep. Can you imagine? Reading all these threads. I'm going to save this and I'm going to return that later. This is, oh, that's just my fuel pump. Oh, okay. Anyway, so now you've seen these threads. Let's go back to Google a little bit more. Now remember, that's from Bob Vila. Okay, anybody doesn't know Bob Vila, you should check Bob Vila. Ha! <laughs> Even I don't know, but hey. Okay, this is Bell Brosh HVAC. 
why your furnace smells sweet. Other related HAVC, a rotten egg smell from the furnace indicated a gas leak. Uh -uh. You saw the other thread. People have done it. People have called the plumber. People have called the technicians. People have checked everything. And they do not get that smell. And I can promise you, I can promise you. Look at this one. January 12, 18, another website. A strange sweet odor formaldehyde is a, is a furnace smell that indicates a cracked chamber. That's all they blame on is a cracked chamber. They always do, and they end up having new one, and they still won't. I can guarantee you, is even the cracked chamber, you won't smell that bad. You won't have that. Look at this one. When I got home from work last night, my home smells like a state stale flower and smells coming from blah, 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 blah. And people get sick of this crap. And yes, I've been holding this information. Look, a tree sweet smell coming from vent, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to reply to all these people and tell them to come to my web. Tell them to come my thing. Watch. Burning odor. Turn off. Just like some of those people. Sickly, sweet smells in furnace and house, blah, blah, blah. That's in Reddit. And that's in 15. And I promise you, I promise you, I will be the one, I will be the first person in the world to solve this for them. For everybody. Yup. Can you imagine... Okay, so now let's go back to the other video, okay? So now, actually, you've seen enough, right? If you don't, just search on Google. Go to Google and just say the air smells sweet. Smells sweet. Something sweet. Something smells funny. Furnace smells funny. Furnace smells like cigarette smoke, but it's not cigarette. Furnace smells like exhaust. Furnace smells this sweet thing. It's always this sweet smell. But they don't know what it is. But I do. Anyway. So if you want to. You can search that on your own. <coughs> and if you look down here. Search related to sweet smell from gas. You will see the air smells sweet. Common oxide smells sweet. Furnace smells like sewer. Home air conditioner smells sweet. Furnace smells funny. Furnace smells like cigarette smoke. Furnace exhaust smells. Winter blah 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 blah. You will get again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And like I stated. And I will promise you. Search for it. You saw one thread. Especially Bob Vila's thread. he has been around for a very long time. I remember watching him when I was little. I haven't done it in a long time because, you know, I'm, I know more than he does, that's for sure. <laughs> I would have solved it, but hey, like I said, like I said, and I'll say it again. People will have a choice which one they want first. So, either 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers. But like I said, I'm going to go through uh, that there and I'm going to post, I'm going to post something. I'm going to post them to this video here and they too can subscribe they too can tell all their friends or whatever from my uh from my channel blah 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 and like i said i will give it out so i'm gonna go back to the other video and then uh we go from there okay okay now if you've seen all the threads and you've seen this thing that is called a weird smell. Okay. And I am happy to be the first person in the world to solve this. And yes, if you have subscribers or you have friends and stuff like that, tell them to subscribe to my channel. Because I will give it away. I will tell you how to solve this. And it practically costs you nothing. Not even one penny. And it takes you less than two seconds to do. Yup. You heard it right. You heard it correctly. And you heard it on tape. 
and you heard it here on my channel. I am the first person that will solve this for everyone without spending a lot of money. Okay? Have a technician come here to check your chamber. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Buy equipment to sniff up those gas to see if those gas leak. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Tearing. Okay? Tearing all these pipes out here and replace them all going to cost you a lot of money. Do everything there is to this thing and you will not get rid of it. I promise you, if you buy a whole unit and replace everything, you will have that smell again. Yes, you heard it correctly. You heard it correctly. You will run to the same problem again, even if you have done replace everything. If you have replaced everything, the same thing here, you will have that sweet smell again, that weird smell that people always talk about. Oh, another thing. They blame it on smoke. People are smoking inside the house. No, 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 nope. Sorry, nope. It's none of that. Yes. I am very proud of myself to solve this. To tell you honestly, truthfully, I am very proud of myself to solve one of the mystery that is within this weird smell in a heating system. And you would not believe what it is. And like I said, it costs you nothing, okay? People spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to replace, to call the technician, to check the gas, to check blah, 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 for leaks, and they would call them crazy too. Uh-huh. You heard it right. People would call them crazy for smelling this thing. And yes, I said it and I said it again. I am very proud to be the first in the world to solve this problem. And it will cost you nothing. It will cost you zero penny. Not even a penny. And it probably takes you about maybe 10 to 20 seconds to do. Uh-huh. You would never believe it. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to give it out until I get my 10,000 or maybe 5,000 subscribers. Maybe, maybe you know somebody or something. Maybe you can post a comment. Maybe I, I have a 5,000 uh, 5, subscriber coming up next. There's a video that I did that I want to give away. Remember, my channel is about learning. My channel is about discovering new things. My channel is about helping people. And that's what I am about. But I want to gain an audience. That would be worth it for me to give it to the audience. So that way they can spread the word. That's what it is about. Okay? So, I have a video planning coming up next for my 5,000 subscribers. Because I'm getting there. Then, the next one would be 10,000. And then, again, and then again, and again. I'll stage this as I go. Because you know by now... I am a very clever individual. Please remember that. I'm not saying this to boost myself, my self-esteem or any of that nature. I think most of my videos speak for itself. I'm just saying that I am very observant. I became smarter than a lot of people because I want to be smarter. I don't want to get stuck in the same place and go to the same lane. No. Sorry. On my road, I try different roads, okay? Let's say a road of life. There will always be an up and down. There will be always a turn. There will be always a bumpy road. There will be rocks on the road. There might be even a big boulders on the road, on my road, that I have to remove in order to, to get from one end to the other. So my life is like that. And, I, I, and yes, I'm very proud of myself to stand up as an individual, not it as an individual, but because I chose to be better. I chose to be, uh, I chose to rack my brain, not only helping myself, but help those around me to live better, to live easier, because that's what I'm about. And like I said, 
if you seen my videos, you will know right away that I am not your average individual. Like I stated before, I am not here to boost myself up or anything of that nature. I want to be different. I want to help people. I want to do things that people have never done before or discover things that people have never discovered before. And this is one of my discovery. Yep, you heard it right. No one in the world has solved this yet. I am the only one in the world have solved this problem. And yes, I have kept this for six plus years. I don't know what to do with it. To be honest, truthfully, I have kept a lot of secret for the past six to eight years. Until recently, I started to do videos on YouTube. Now it gives me a reason to do things. Now it gives me a reason to make videos. So I started doing YouTube videos not because of anything. It's because I had a, a, uh, a personal problem, which some of you already know. If you follow me uh, for the past three years, I had, uh, and that has to do with my mom. Uh, you probably hear some of those videos there. Uh, I went through with my mom's death. Just in case you don't know, I went through with my mom's death. Uh, during a time I made video just to help people or something I know, blah, blah, blah. And I start to gain a lot of audience. I started to gain a lot of subscribers, which I didn't know. Um, I just did it just for the hell of it, just to keep my head sane during my time of my mom's dilemma, dilemma. And I didn't know this is where I'm going. Like I said in my other videos, I didn't know that I actually gonna sit on YouTube and sew sponges. Hey, but hey, what the, you know? Um, so now I get, I believe I'm starting again to respect it. It's because of the content that I pump out. I do a lot of things, as you already know, I can do a lot of things. I do major things. And uh, a lot of things that, you know, I can, I can tear this whole thing apart and rebuild it. Yep, you heard it correctly. No training whatsoever. Uh-huh. But that's just a little bit about me. You've seen a bunch of other things before. You've seen plenty of other things before. Some of those just, eh, they're mediocre. Some of those, yeah, they're stupid. But hey, it is just a journey. But during that journey, I'm going to feed little things in, sort of like a video like here. That I've known this problem or... Because I ran into it six, seven, maybe eight, even eight years ago, maybe around there. At least around there, six to eight, I'm not sure, okay? And I found this weird smell coming from the heater. And yes, I tore everything apart. I even make, look, that is actually outside air. If you look at it, there's a line going out there to take the outside air out because I thought it was air from here or from from this old attic or whatever because I'm actually on the third uh, on the fourth floor I'm on an attic and this is where our roof is okay oh sorry this is our roof and stuff okay so I thought it was those air this is our exhaust. That's our coming in. So it's like an exchange thing, you know? I even, because it sucks the air from here out. If I had this open. So I did, yes, I did that. I did everything here, okay? And no, like I said, no training whatsoever. Zero. I look at it. I can figure it out in seconds. Watch all those things does. Okay, like I said it before, I'm not here to tell people that 
you know, I'm good at something or whatever. It's just that when I see something, I can figure it out just like that within a snap of the finger. Like one guy just, um, here's a little story. One guy just told me, oh, well, this video could have been two seconds. I mean, 30 seconds. Yeah, you are absolutely correct. It takes me two seconds to understand. The question is, can you? People learn things differently. People learn a lot of things differently than I am. Okay? It takes me two seconds to learn this. Yes? Just by looking at it, I will know exactly what each thing does. And like I said before, if there's a God above, thank you. Thank you for giving me a brain that is separated from a lot of people. And that, yes, I'm, I, I am very thankful every day. I am very grateful whoever it is upstairs every day to give me something that is unique, but not only unique, but is give me something that it's a lot of vantage from a lot of people. And yes, I do hold something very special. And yes, I am very proud of myself for that. No one actually teach me any of these stuff. I teach myself everything. Just remember that. But this, no, this video is not about that. I'm just, I'm just giving you what I know, what I can do, blah, 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 blah. And no, I'm not pushing myself on the pedestals or putting myself on top of other people or anything like that. Please don't get this message wrong. Uh, I'm just saying that what I am capable of. That's it. So, by having this nice brain that I got, that, I, that someone gave me, I was able to figure this out. I was able to, to, to figure out what was the smell caused by that. And I show you the video earlier from my computer. And if you search for it, you will, you do the same thing. Go search for it. Do the same thing. And you will see, oh my God, people, threads after threads after threads and after threads and after threads. You will see so many of them. But no one, no one ever solved this problem. Like I stated before, and I'll state it before I go. I actually hold this information for about six to eight years in my head and yes I'm gonna give it away now I'm gonna give it away because all these years imagine all the money that people could actually save if they find out this information can you believe that but it's very simple and it costs you nothing nothing zero dollars and it'll probably take you like five seconds to do Yup, you heard it correctly. Five seconds and zero dollar. But these people, as I saw, I told you earlier about the videos. People gone through everything. I mean, I've, I've read one thread. This guy to, threw everything away. He took, he took all those. He replaced all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And he still got not rid of smell. And look, I tried that myself. See? Now is nothing now, but I try that myself. I try to suck the smell out myself. I did it too. I was on that road too. And nope, that's just a standard ceiling, uh, a, a fan from a, a bathroom, and I try to suck that out. Yep, I did all that too. But I don't need it no more because I solved my problem. And like I said, it cost me nothing in less than five seconds to do. But can you believe that I was just like everybody else? I was just just like everybody else. When you call a technicians or an HVAC VAC technicians or something, they're going to charge you an arm and leg to check it out. And guess what they're going to say? You know, you don't have a crack chamber. No, you don't have gas leaks. No, you don't have a bad filter. No, that's not from your blah, 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 blah. You will never get it. No one in this world got it. I am the one holding on to it. I am the only one in this world hold this information. And so, the thing is, 
is that if you got friends and you got people that you found this video and you found this video and you listen to this video and I am telling you that I hold this information for the last six to eight years. I was able to solve that when I was really young. Can you imagine? Six, probably what, what I was like, nine, ten years old? Somewhere there. Can you imagine that I start living here with my gram? And I was able to figure it out. Yep. But still today, still today, search online, search on Google, search anywhere. You will see this problem. There's this weird smell and there's a sweet smell coming out of my furnace. Just search those terms just like I did before. And you will see threads after threads after threads. There's so many things. Search on YouTube too. And you will, they would recommend everything in the book. Everything in the book. They will recommend you the whole dictionary and you will not solve the problem. I am the one, the only one in the world and very proud to say so. That I hold this information and I want to be either 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers. So as long as I get to those, I'm going to release that video so I can give it to the world. I want to. Actually, there's two. Uh, I wanted to do two videos. The 5,000 and the 10,000 uh, subscribers. The 5,000 coming up next, I was going to do how to solve cold. Common colds, okay? No one solved that one either. If you've seen my other videos, I'll link it to here that I said that I were willing to give that away, that information away, how to solve a common cold, and I will explain it as well. Maybe this will be the 10,000 subscribers. Then I'll give this away. Either or, you can post a comment here and tell me which one you want to see first, okay? So if you've seen this video and you know this video, tell me which one you want to see first. Either the common cold or solving the heating smell. There's two. And I will give that away to the world because I am the only one in the world hold those information. I have more, but I'm not going to release it until I get to a certain point. Hey, it's a stage of life. I want to get as much word as I can out. So once I get enough subscribers, I will release those videos. So if you've seen these videos and stuff like that, you will know right away that I am going to release a lot of stuff that I know for people. Anyway, um, if you've seen this video and you listen to this video, please post a comment, okay, to tell me which one should I release out first. Then we go from there, okay? Other than that, I'm going to end this video. And I will read your comments and I will decide. Okay? I'll see you in the next video.